हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम गेट 2012 फ्रॉम फार्मेसी एंड पावर द प्रॉब्लम सेज ए वर्टिकल हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर हैविंग एन इनसाइड डायमीटर ऑफ 100 मिलीमीटर इज यूज्ड इन ए हॉइस्ट फॉर लिफ्टिंग लोड ए कांस्टेंट फ्लो रेट पंप कैपेबल ऑफ डिलीवरिंग 12 लीटर पर मिनट एट ए मैक्सिमम प्रेशर ऑफ 18 मेगापास्कल इज यूज्ड फॉर सप्लाइंग द फ्लूड वॉल्यूमेटिंग एंड मैकेनिकल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द पंप्स आर 91% एंड 85% रेस्पेक्टिवली The rate of lifting of load in meter per second and maximum amount of load that can be lifted in kilonewton are uh, four options are given. You have to find out. Next, the size of motor required for operating the pump in kilowatt. Which four options are given? Basically, we have to find out the power requirement for the pump for the system. Let us quickly solve this problem. This is a basic problem, but little tricks are needed to solve this. basically the system is like this this is a vertical vertical uh, lifting cylinder here you can see this is the cylinder hydraulic cylinder and this is the dcb direction and control valve it says uh, what are what, what are the maximum load you to find out if the diameter of the cylinder is given diameter of the cylinder is this much this is given therefore we know what is the flow rate is given flow rate comes from here through this this is the pressure control valve so there will be motor here pump here this comes from here okay we know that flow rate in meter cube per second should be equal to cylinder area this is the area the flow comes here inside the cylinder so that it, it can be lifted so weight will be here some weight lifting will be there and it will move vertically upward therefore cylinder area into lifting rate it, it how how uh, what is the velocity where actually this piston moves that is you have to find out therefore in this case flow rate is given that is q 12 liter per minute since 12 liter per minute we can convert it to 12 by 1000 meter cube per minute and to find out meter cube per second 60 uh, is divided so this is the flow rate in cubic meter per second next cylinder dia is given 100 mm which is equivalent to 0.1 meter this one 0.1 meter Uh, so that there therefore area will be equal to pi by 4 d square it is pi by 4 into 0.1 square putting this uh, area and uh, flow rate we can find out the velocity therefore the discharge is this much and putting area is this much you can find out velocity which is equal to 0.0254 meter per second it's very easy to calculate This is the velocity or a lifting rate by which the load will be lifted. Next, what we have to find out the maximum load which it can carry. The maximum load you can see here the pressure will be applied on the piston. Here uh, pressure, the maximum pressure it is given, and if you know the area, then area into pressure is equal to load. Therefore. the uh, maximum pressure is given that is 18 megapascal which is equivalent to 18 into 10 to the power 3 kilopascal since in this formula you have to you need this is kilopascal and this is meter square so kilopascal is kilo newton per meter square so kilo is uh, for kilowatt newton meter square meter square will be cancelled out so that's why uh, this is this will be um, newton into meter per second so newton uh, so not newton per second it is newton therefore the maximum load will be area that is pi by 4 into 0.1 square into 18 into uh, 10 to the 3 kilopascal then you can directly find out 1 41 kilonewton kilo is for kilonewton 
so you can easily find out so the, therefore the first part says what is the lifting rate and maximum amount of load therefore the answer will be b that is we calculated 0.0254 and this is the another answer both answers you can put here next we have to find out the pump power input power since there will be a pump here for the system this is the motor motor will give the power to pump so that pump will discharge the um, fluid to the cylinder through the DCB uh, in this case the discharge is given and pressure is given therefore we know the power is equal to discharge into so pump power you have to find out so input power to the pump will be here the motor motor will give therefore the pump discharge in meter cube per second pump pressure should be in kilopascal because the power you have to calculate in kilowatt volumetric efficiency to divide because there is a loss to attenuate the volumetric loss as well as the mechanical efficiency of the pump so this is very simple formula just you to divide since uh, uh, the percentage is given volumetric efficiency is given 91% and mechanical efficiency is given 85% therefore we have to take it in fraction therefore we divide it by 100 therefore the pump input power will be equal to putting all the value that is uh, discharge is 12 by 1000 into 60 meter, uh, meter cube per second and 18 into 20 by 3 kilopascal the pump pressure 91 by 100 is the fraction volumetric efficiency 85 by 100 is the fraction mechanical efficiency therefore you are putting this value you can easily calculate the pump input power it's very easy so this is the answer for the pump input power in this question the size of the motor required for operating the pump in kilowatt is uh, 4.65 kilowatt